had one campaign that the artist dropped like six different songs over like a, four, a five week period, a four or five week period. And we was doing like an equal ass spin for each of them. Um, but he had like one song in particular that like he just gave like extra treatment to. Like he had it posted on like this big YouTube channel that was like, mm-hmm. like the women saw like a couple of music videos for it, started trying to influence the campaign for it. And we were just looking at it like, damn, that's crazy because this isn't even the one that I would have been like, <laughs> put all the money by. And that's like, Song number two or whatever, I can't remember. It was one of the really early ones we ran for him, like either the first or the second one out of the six on set. One of them was going crazy, like the ads were going stupid, like he was getting followers, a bunch of followers and shit, like fans yeah. coming and all other stuff. And then, like I said, by the time we got it set up, the third song was out, it was time to cut everything, <laughs> time to cut everything. Yeah. Off. And, yeah, and it was like, damn, man. And this was like a bigger artist, too, like a, a pretty, he's not like huge, but he got a, he got a fan base. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty, yeah. he's backed by some pretty big people. So it was interesting to watch, like, a major institution of that caliber right. treat the rollout the way they treated it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. Cause I, it'd be hard to explain without going super deep into it. There just was a lot going on that, that to, me, to me made it one of the worst examples of it. But like the big thing that stood out to me about that was he wasn't putting every song on every platform. He wasn't giving every song equal treatment as far as like content made for it and stuff yeah. like that. Yes. There were very clear favors that I feel like rubbed out to the fans and, and affected the way stuff went out. And then I felt like he picked the wrong one <laughs> to give all the yeah. attention to. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, so I don't know. They might be happy with what they got out of it. You know? um, okay. But just us looking at it from an analytical standpoint, I was like, man, song number two, bro, that shit, is, that shit is stupid, you know, but it is what it is. So I'm passing on to you because I would say, like, look at it like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, like, when you do those type of campaigns, you have to, like, not be married to the songs because yeah. you're literally <laughs> just trying to figure out which one do people fuck with the most? You know what I'm saying? Or like I said, you're padding out content or you're building up momentum towards the one thing that you do already believe in uh, and are about to put a lot of marketing behind or something like that. Wow, what's up, it's Brandman Sean. And if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope. And you get access to free courses as well. But it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.